I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 3 in my book, Fishing for Summer Flounder, Fluke Jigging from Shore Boat and Kayak, and you can learn more about the book at flounderbook.com. So when I do these videos, uh, I'm not only dragging the camera rig, I'm also fishing and uh, bouncing this bucktail rig, and sometimes I can get both in the frame, and that's always interesting, because then you get to see these fish, uh, how they react when they have a choice of offerings, and over and over I see the same thing. So I've got a video here, it's a short video, less than five minutes, uh, showing times when I can get both in the frames and see what these fluke do. Uh, fluke also called summer flounder in many parts of the country. And, and I've watched many hours of underwater video and sometimes it's not as clear as this so it's not worth posting because you, you can barely see what's going on. But um, after observing so much of this, it's I can almost say that it's always the case that when you have that rapidly bounced rig, um, they're going to prefer that, and they're all going to gravitate towards the motion, towards the rapid jigging action, and pass on the bait. So this is shot, uh, this little clip here, under very slow drift conditions. And this is a time when, uh, in some areas, it almost becomes uh, necessary to jig. Because if you're dragging bait along the bottom at a very slow speed, uh, you get a lot of problems with crabs. Whereas you know, with the jigging, uh, it's much less of a problem that the crabs are going to grab onto the jig. I find this interesting how long it takes me to hook this fish. It's very surprising. Um, and that's, there we go, but it, it grabbed on there a few times and uh, you know I have a sensitive rod and braided line and still I, I guess that doesn't feel like much up in the boat and uh, you know it, it hit a few times but the important thing is as uh, if you've watched any of my other underwater videos you'll see that the fluke will come back over and over again if you miss them so uh, I don't think there was too much risk that that fish was going to just swim away So that's a fresh fluke strip on that uh, floating jig head, and it looks really nice in the water, but it's not going to outshine the rapidly bounced jigging rig. Now with the jigging rig gone, we'll see that you know, the fluke would indeed hit this, and there it is. Uh, well, that was its only option. Okay, instead of a fresh meat strip, we're offering uh, a gulp bait. Just give them something a little bit different, and uh, the result's going to be the same. And you know, I've also seen some video where I've got uh, live killies on, and again, you know, they're going to go over to the bouncing rig. Okay, I hope you've found this short little video interesting, and I would encourage you to check out the book Fishing for Summer Flounder, Fluke Jigging from Shoreboat and Kayak, and you can learn more about that at flounderbook.com.